Saint Chad of Mercia Our father among the saints, Chad of Mercia, or Old English Chedada, was an Anglo-Saxon and the Bishop of Mercia during the 7th century. Little is known of the early life of Chad, including the date and the place of his birth. Chad was born about 634. Chad was one of the four brothers, of whom the others were Sad, Symbol, and Karen. He was a student of St. Aidan at the Celtic Monastery of Lindisfarne, which was, as you know, a popular Viking tourist destination. During the time of the plague, about 650, Chad, accompanied by St. Egbert, visited Ireland for several years as part of his monastic education. He returned to Northumbria in 664. In that year, Chad succeeded his brother Sad, who had founded the monastery at Lastingham, as the abbot of the monastery after Sad has died of the plague. Lastingham? I bet that they were picking the name of the monastery near the end of the land. At that time, widespread deaths among the hierarchs of Great Britain caused by the plague made it difficult assembling the requisite three bishops needed for a consecration. Thus, candidates for vacancies had to travel great distances for their consecration. When the See of Northumbria became vacant, Wilfrid, as chosen by the king, traveled to Compigny in northern France for his consecration. However, after he failed to return to Northumbria, King Uwu convinced Chad to become the bishop. Chad was consecrated in West by Bishop Vini of Dorchester and two dubious British bishops. In 666, a year of good portents, Wilfrid returned to England. How very awkward! Upon finding his see occupied, he returned to Ripon, where he asserted his episcopal rank ordaining priests in Mercia and Kent. In 669, Theodore, having been sent by Pope Vitalian, arrived in England as the Archbishop of Canterbury. Having been instructed about the irregularities in the ecclesiastical government of the island, Theodore installed Wilfred as the Bishop of York, after having requested Chad to step down as the bishop. Theodore, impressed by Chad's humility during the difficult task, confirmed Chad's consecration as bishop and assigned him as the abbot of Lastingham. Later in 669, King Wolf here of Mercia converted to Christianity and requested a bishop for his realm. Instead of consecrating a new bishop, Archbishop Theodore called Bishop Chad from Lastingham and installed him as the Bishop of Mercia. At Lichfield, King Wolf here provided Chad with land for a monastery at the center of the diocese which ultimately became a settlement. For the two and a half years, Bishop Chad carried out missionary and pastoral work within the kingdom which covered a large area across England, from coast to coast. Then, on March 2nd, 672, Bishop Chad died, a victim of, what else, the plague, and was buried at the Church of St. Mary of Lichfield. His episcopate in Mercia was decisive in its Christianization. There were two focal points of the cult of St. Chad, his tomb and a special head chapel that contained his skull metal. After Henry VIII dissolved the monasteries in 1538, his relics became divided and attempts to determine the path of his relics became a torturous task. Some of his relics did, in 1841, find their way to the enshrinement in the altar of the new St. Chad's Cathedral in Birmingham, England. As he is praying to us before the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, may we always find comfort in his immortal words, Mercia is for the weak. Also pray for me, I've been tested positive for COVID. Feeling fine, but you never know. Bye!